I hadn't planned on filming today, but you know, sometimes you just gotta wait and see where the spirit takes us. <laughs> She's all purely decorative, which again isn't something I usually do. I know um, this might not come across to a lot of people or it might be surprising because of the way I dress and the way I decorate my room, but um, I don't usually like to have things that are purely decorative. I like to have things that have a purpose or that I'm going to use for something or that have some kind of other meaning to me. Um, even right now here I have this mannequin here, but it is a clothing mannequin and the jacket on it is one that I have customised and one that I do wear, so it's decorative but it also has a purpose and a function in my life and my little coffin suitcase here is a suitcase so it's it gets used or it did when we were allowed to travel I put my stuff in it and travelled around with that unless it's like artwork but even then artwork is usually stuff that either I have made and worked on or it's something that obviously it's something else that someone has made and worked on and that I bought from an artist so I don't know. I don't know. What I'm saying is this one is a complete outlier in my room and in my collection and in my life and in this series and on this channel but I love it so the only problem with it and I say problem problem is that it is blue. It might be showing up kind of green on camera but it's definitely blue and I don't really I don't wear blue, I don't have a lot of blue, I don't have any really blue decoration in my room at all, so I am going to paint it. Well, I have actually seen the original sculpture. This is, this is a replica of, I've seen it in person. And I love her, I love her. My plan right now is to use tape to tape stripes onto the base and then spray paint the whole thing white. And that way, in the very least, the statue will be white and the base will be stripy and it'll be a more sort of typical marble statue looking thing. And then what? Then I might, I might paint it uh, with a pearly iridescent effect, maybe just on the wings, maybe not. I was considering doing the wings in some colour, but I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure. Well, step one will be... Step one is always is wash the thing, obviously. Step one you do when you first come in the house after buying something during a pandemic. But there was no Halloween decorations this year. Not no Halloween decorations at all, just no good ones, none that I wanted to buy, so I still had that hole in my hole in my plan I guess <laughs> where I had plans to maybe buy stuff like Halloween stuff to use as everyday decor and it didn't happen so this is a good substitute I think my plan for this was to spray paint it just to make it all a better colour to work with. I put some tape around the base so that after it was spray painted I could peel that tape off and the base would come out stripy. That was that was part of my plan. Then I handed it over to my partner to spray paint because I don't I don't have spray paint. I'm not good at it. He does, so I handed it over to my partner for spray painting and he sprayed it a light grey colour, a kind of stony grey, which is perfect, that's exactly what I wanted. I, well, what I thought I wanted was to spray paint it white and then I was maybe going to put some colours on the wings and try and make them look kind of iridescent, but what he had was light grey and I realised that would be a kind of stone colour, so we went with that and it was a much better choice, it was much better. After that, I, dry, I just dry brushed on some white 
so I just just really quickly and simply dry brushed white over the grey so that it would pick out the details and that made it, made it look really really like stone like um, it looks like a statue now and at this point I had still kind of planned to put um, colours in the wings and try and make it more rainbowy and shiny but I really really liked how it looked just grey and white like a stone statue on a stripy base. I just thought it looked really nice the way it was so that's it I'm considering it done. I'm considering the job done. I have two more projects finished and waiting to be made into videos. I, I filmed the process obviously I just need to film the part where I sit and talk to you about it and then I think that'll be it for all the furniture DIY and I can do the room tour. So far the other videos in this series include a, a clock, a desk and a bookcase. So those ones are all done and are up and ready for you to watch right now. Uh, coming after this one will be a small cabinet and then a little chest of drawers thing that I'm using for keeping small items in. It's hard to describe, but it's like a tiny little thing of drawers. Anyway, whatever. The point is, there's two more projects completed and waiting to be turned into videos. And then I think we can call this project a good one. And I can do the room tour and show you the completed, the completed project. So, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, support me on Patreon if you feel up to supporting me on Patreon, you can pledge just $1 a month. I make new videos every weekend. Bye!